In this lesson, we will learn to represent relations between sets by using equations, which is our objective for this whole exercise of teaching relations and functions. Let's get started with the question. Here we have a question which says, find relation R from n to n, such that R consists of all pairs x, y, where x, y belong to n, such that sum of 2x and y is 16. So first it is important that you understand the question. What is n here? n is a set of natural numbers. So n is a set of natural numbers and the members of this set are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. So these counting numbers make up a set called natural numbers. The relation we are defining from n to n consists of all those pairs x, y in which the sum of 2x and y is equal to 16. So if we were to write the possible values for x, x can be minimum 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And now let's say what are the possible values for y. Because we are to take sum of 2x plus y, so let's double these values of x. So 2x would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. Now what is possibility of y having a value of 14? Because this way 2x which is 2 and y which is 14 their sum is equal to 16. So that is a possible pair that could fit in the definition. Similarly, when x was 2, then 2x was 4 and 4 plus 12. That is another pair which can satisfy this relation or which belongs to this relation. So for 6, this must be 10. And for 8, this must be 8. For 10, this must be 6. And this is 4 and this is 2. Now you can see if we go beyond 7, if we take value of x equal to 8, then 2x will become 16 itself. And then we won't have any value of y which will fulfill this requirement because natural numbers only start from 1. There is no such y which can be added to 16 and it can give the sum 16. So here possible values of those pairs x, y are 114, 212, 212, and 310, and 48, and 5, 6, and 6, 4, 7, 2. These are all possible pairs, ordered pairs x, y, which can fulfill this requirement. And you can see that this is quite a bit of work to figure out. And whenever the equation will change, this will become even harder. And situations sometimes might be way too complex to figure out are the sets instead of natural numbers if this was to become set of integers this work would have gone totally out of proportion so the tabular representation here the tabular representation of r which is in this case 114 114 and 
and 72 this is a tabular representation of the relation but like we have discussed before that if instead of n we were to take another set z the set of integers positive and negatives the relation would have gone so big and it would be practically impossible to calculate all the pairs and list them. Or sometime the defining relation could become very complex and it would require a lot of work to make table, table of values. So this is to some extent it is acceptable but this is not the best way to represent this relation. The best way to represent this relation would be if we were to summarize all these conditions in this way that relation R is equal to all those pairs x, y. Now here x is a representative value for the first element of the pair. x is representative value for the first element of the pair and y is a representative value for second element of the pair. Then we say where x, y belong to n like x the first element of the pair is a natural number, second element of the pair is a natural number and their sum 2x plus y is equal to 16. What a nice way of defining the relation. This will completely describe the relation and all these pairs 1, 14, 2, 12, 3, 10, 4, 8, 5, 6, 6, 4, 7, 2 would be called solution of this equation. So here we have here 2x plus y is equal to 16 for x y belonging to n defines defines the same relation the same relation and this certainly is the best way of defining the relation let's do another question here and in this question says find ordered pairs x y which belong to the relation r from z to z z is a set of all integers including negative positive and of course zero as well so here relation r is being defined from z to z and it is defined by the equation y is equal to minus 4x minus 4. So for question 2, r from z to z is defined as, is defined by, defined by y is equal to minus 4x minus 4. We are not given the table of values. Here we are just being given the equation which is defining this relation. But there is a restriction on x and that restriction says that x can take only values between minus 4 and plus 4. So where minus 4 is less than x and x is less than plus 4. So with this restriction from this equation we can certainly find 
those pairs like we can find the relation in tabular form let's find this same relation in tabular form to find relation in tabular form tabular form what we will do is we will consider first allowable value for x the first allowable value for x add is at x is equal to x is between minus 4 and plus 4 so this could be on the real line if this was minus 4 and this was plus 4 here it's 3 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 so this is 3 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so these are possible values for x at x is equal to minus 3 we can calculate y y is equal to minus 4 time minus 3 minus 4 so this will be equal to 12 minus 4 this will be equal to 8 so the first pair that belongs to the relation r is minus 3 and 8 similarly we can calculate other pairs as well this time we are going to consider at x is equal to at x equal to minus 2 so when x is equal to minus 2 then y would be equal to minus 4 time minus 2 minus 4 so this will become 8 minus 4 and 8 minus 4 will become equal to 4 so another pair will be minus 2 4 minus 2 4 and next at x is equal to at x is equal to minus 1 y would become equal to minus 4 time minus 1 minus 4 this will become 4 minus 4 and this will become 0 so the next pair we have is minus 1 minus 1 and 0 you can see that for every decrement of 1 in x y decreases by 4 so we can obviously we can either find those ordered pairs the way we are calculating or we can simply follow the sequence and this sequence will be 0 and now this will be 4 so 8 and this will be minus 4 0 minus 4 so if we calculate it here at x is equal to 0 this would be minus 4 and at 1 it would be minus 8 at 2 it would be minus 12 and at 3 it would be minus 16 that's it this will be the relation you can see that from this equation we can find the relation in tabular form but it's hard if we are given the table of values from table of values to find the equation is 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 not that easy as it is that if we have equation we can find the tabular form but so the given equation is the best representation of any relation and we can use that generalized rule for assigning y to every value of x.